Alpha is directed by Albert Hughes and it stars Cody Smith McPhee and a very familiar voice. It takes place in the Paleolithic period, 20,000 years in the past, and we find a young hunter who is trying to find his way home after being left for dead. Only unexpectedly he finds help in a wolf who has also been left for dead by his own companions. Now I'm probably the only person in the world who was excited for this film when the first thrillers came out because the film was supposed to come out in September last year and then it was late till March but I don't think I remember ever knowing this movie to be supposed to come out before March. And I'm a sucker for boy and their dog stories and this is supposedly the first ever one and uh, I really like it. I think Alpha is a really good movie. First of all, this is a journey not only for the boy but for the dog. It's about their relationship and it feels like a true epic as you see this kid travel through all these landscapes and the landscapes look absolutely gorgeous. The cinematography in this film is stunning. It doesn't have the best CGI ever. This is CGI that when you look at it, okay, it is CGI, but our eyes, vivid movie watchers, our eyes are trained for this, so we notice it, but it's not something that jumps out in a very bad way. There is once or twice where you can see that it is in an entirely different plane of reality, but for the most part, it's really believable backgrounds and scenery and the animals as well. There's actually one part of this film where the filmmakers were pretty smart in keeping one specific animal in the shadows so that the egregious CGI wouldn't jump out. And Cody Smith McPhee stars in this film. This kid has been doing films for his entire life basically. I've known this kid since Let Me In or Let The Right One In. I can't remember which one. And this is probably the best role he has given us. The kid is really, really good. It feels almost like a kid's version of The Revenant. It's not like this movie is exactly kid friendly. There are scenes that I would not recommend for kids to watch. But the relationship between him and the dog is so endearing and the film genuinely and very organically shows how the domestication of animals started. And it's a relationship between them that you feel for. And that is the hook of the film. Granted, the only hook of the film but a very effective one and this is not a film that you haven't seen before you can see beats of this film in many other things like the revenant as i spoke like any other movie about a boy and his dog or a dog and his boy whatever you want to call it despite that one only an exclusive hook the film has its merits and values with a great performance beautiful landscapes a good story to follow where you see this kid just creating this genuine relationship with a dog bit by bit. It doesn't feel too quick, it doesn't feel too slow, it feels like these two characters are getting to know each other at their own pace and makes sense for the characters. However, I do have to say that the film falters in its pacing here and there. There are parts where it feels a little bit too slow and then there are other parts where it feels a little bit too chopped up, like they wanted to rush till the ending of the film. I feel like it could have been two hours and would have been just fine. And there is one portion of the film where the boy and his dog separate. I'm not gonna tell you why, I'm not gonna tell you how, but it didn't give or take away anything from the story. I didn't feel like it added anything. It didn't feel like it added stakes to the story. It didn't feel like it added drama to the story. So I just thought that part to be useless. I think Alpha is going to be one of those movies that goes under people's radar and eventually some of us can put it on people's radar. Maybe when it is on Netflix or Redbox or DVD and Blu-ray or digital. Alpha is well acted and beautifully shot. It offers an epic adventure that blends really good action with an extra little helping of genuine hard-earned drama and it has charm both in the boy and the dog. I am going to give Alpha a martini. It is a good time anytime with a bowl of milk for your dog on the side. Now what did you think of Alpha my beautiful geekies? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Were you surprised at how much you did or not enjoy it? And what is your favorite boy and his dog film? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Once again, check out my review for Black Klansman and come back tomorrow for my review of Spy Who Dumped Me, then Slenderman, then Happy Time Murders and many other reviews to come. Can't wait to see you there and until the next review, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky and if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button, click the bell and please do consider supporting me on Patreon. I much appreciate it. You guys are the best. 
Thank you. And when you do so, we can be geeky. United!